Matthew chapter 5, verses 43 through 48. Have you heard it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy? But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. He causes his sun to rise on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your own people, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. This verse is really interesting because it teaches us that we have to love people that we don't like. Now, it's really easy to love people that we get along with and are friends. So I'm gonna ask you to, or I'm gonna introduce my friend, Aaron. Hi, Molly. Aaron's my really good friend and we get along super well. We love all sorts of things like board games and soup and dogs. Definitely soup. So it's really easy to love Aaron because we have a lot in common and we're really good friends. But there are some people that I don't really like and it's really hard to love them just because we don't get along, we don't have the same thing in common. Kind of like Aaron's evil twin, Darren. I don't like Molly because she's smelly and she dresses bad. I don't think I smell. Well, Darren's just kind of a mean guy and I just don't have much in common with him. But I'm gonna to try to do what Jesus says and love my enemies, even if I don't want to. You look silly in your glasses, Molly. Darren, I wanna tell you that I like your hat. You do? I do. Hmm. So when we love people that maybe don't deserve our love, nothing really can happen, but it's the right thing to do in our hearts. And then sometimes, every once in a while, maybe that love changes their hearts too because they want to be more like Jesus. I'm sorry that I made fun of you, Molly. Here are some flowers. Wow, thanks, Darren. I wasn't expecting that. So the moral of the story isn't do love people just because you're gonna get flowers at the end. The moral of the story is you have to love people even if you don't like them. And maybe one or two will eventually bring you flowers. The Lord is with you even if you don't see it treat others how you want to be treated all you get is all you get even when you're asleep the lord is with you amen